Good everyone, you're watching Radio Fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about some of the easy ways to repair a corrupt PowerPoint presentation file in your computer. Now, at times, whenever you're trying to open a file, a PowerPoint file, you might see this error message. Now, there are a couple of steps uh, which you can go ahead and try to fix a problem. Now, in spite of clicking on repair, you, you would still not be able to open the PowerPoint presentation. Now, the first step, what I would suggest you to go ahead and try to get this issue fixed is... I would suggest you to save this file into a different location. Now, first and foremost thing, in case if you have downloaded this file from the internet or uh, if you have copied this file from a different drive, you may go ahead and do a right click on the file and click on show more options. Or if you see properties, click on properties. And then check the box which says unblock. So this file came from another computer and might be blocked. So Click on unblock, click on apply and OK, and then try to open the file and see if it opens. In case if you're not able to open the file, the first and foremost step, what I would suggest you to do is, I would suggest you to make a copy of this file. Try to do a right click and click on copy, copy this file. So once you copy this file, go to the location, go to your C drive. And uh, preferably, uh, maybe you can try saving this file on your desktop. Basically, you're copying the file and pasting on a different location. So go to the desktop and paste this file. Okay. So as soon as you paste this file, you have a backup of this file. Now, this is where you can try working on this file. Now, the first and foremost step, uh, what I would suggest you to do is I would suggest you to uh, go with an option which says uh, open PowerPoint in safe mode. So the first thing is you will have to open PowerPoint. So you can do a right click on the start button and then click on run. Or else you can press Windows and R simultaneously. That should open run window on your computer. And type the command which says power PNT forward slash safe. And then click on OK. So what you're doing here is you're trying to open the PowerPoint application in safe mode and then trying to open the file which you're not able to open. So with this, uh, you will be able to uh, eliminate some of the third party applications or add on which are associated with the file and uh, see if you're able to open the file. So you have the application in safe mode, then you go to file and then click on open. Once you click on open, click on browse. And from here, navigate to your desktop and look for the PowerPoint file which you have uh, made a copy. So click on OK or open. So this should fix the problem and uh, you should be able to open the file. As soon as you are able to open the file, what I would suggest you to do is I would suggest you to go ahead and make a copy of this file so that um, all the corruption has been uh, not been carried forward to the uh, new document or on the same document. Click on save as and save this file in a different location wherever you think it is convenient with. Now, if you're able to open the file well and good in case if you're still facing a problem, the next step what I would suggest you to do is I would suggest you to uh, go ahead and open and repair the PowerPoint file. So to do this, you will have to open PowerPoint on your computer. So you can open PowerPoint normally, open a blank presentation. Now from here, you can click on file and then click on open, click on browse. Once you have browse, navigate to the location where you have your PowerPoint file saved, which has been corrupt. Select the file and under the open option from the menu, from the list of menu, use the option which says open and repair. So basically what you're trying to do here is you're trying to use an inbuilt PowerPoint uh, open and repair tool to repair if there are any corruptions on your uh, PowerPoint file. And um, this should fix a problem in an ideal case. And um, if you are able to open the file, uh, as I said, try to resave the file in a different location and uh, try to rework on it. Now, if you are able to open the file well and good, you don't have to try the next step. Now, in case if you're still facing a problem, the next step, what I would suggest you to do is, I would suggest you to uh, use the option which says reuse slide. Now, to try this option, what you need to do is, you will have to open PowerPoint, a blank PowerPoint. 
blank PowerPoint presentation. Now, once you're on this, uh, you may go ahead and click on insert and then click on new slide. Now, once you're, once you click on new slide from this menu, use the option which says reuse slide. Now, from this window, click on browse and navigate to the location where you have saved your current uh, corrupt PowerPoint presentation and then click on open. Now, as soon as you click on open, um, you would see uh, your, in case if you are able to retrieve some of the information or if uh, the, the corruption is not that uh, deep, you would see the preview of the slides which are there in the uh, corrupt file. So you, this is where you would see on the right hand side window. Now here you will have to make sure the uh, keep the box checked for keep source formatting and then do a right click and then click on insert all slides so in this way what you're trying to do is you're trying to reuse the slides from your corrupt file into the new file try to save this file with the new file name and then try to rework on this file so this is one way of uh, restoring the file now um, in spite of trying this step and if you're still facing a problem the next step, what I would suggest you to do is, I would suggest you to uh, try to restore the media files from your PowerPoint presentation as much as possible. Th this is a, a last resort. And I would also suggest you a bonus step after this step. Uh, after this step. So now what you would need to do is, um, you will have to go ahead and rename your corrupt file in case if you don't see a uh, rename option, you click on show more option and then click on rename. Now, from the file extension, you will have to rename the file to .zip and hit enter. If you see the prompt, click on yes. Now, what you're doing here is you're converting your PowerPoint presentation into .zip. As soon as you have uh, renamed the file to .zip, double click on it, click on PPT and this is where you would find all the media files which are there in your corrupt presentation. So all the media files will be saved there. So in this way, at least you will be able to restore some of the uh, media files which has been used in your corrupt file. So this is one way of doing it. You can go to each individual folder and try to restore as much data as possible from your corrupt PowerPoint file. So this is one way to restore as much as data. Now, in spite of trying all this step, and if you're still facing a problem in opening the file, then the last resort, what I would suggest mm -hmm. you to do is, I would suggest you to use some of the third party or uh, software recovery tool to uh, repair your corrupt files. This should ideally fix a problem. In case, uh, if you're not sure, what are the recommended software, third-party software. You can leave me a comment in the comment section so that I can come up with a, a possible uh, recommendation. I hope this video was useful. In case if you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a great day.